since the creation of 33 institutions, starting in 1945 with the UN itself, only 12% of the time women have been at the helm of these institutions. I think that probably uh, there is not enough attention put into nurturing uh, women who are working throughout the world who can take positions of relevance in, in multilateralism. I think it, it is important to recognize that particularly in the diplomatic world, women face challenges. Face challenges because uh, diplomacy is a world in which you move from one place to another, hence do not uh, create an enabling environment in which to balance the family life with the professional life. These are things that need to be mainstream in order to get the best out of a great number of young women who are coming out of uh, universities and who are now at a point in which they could start a life in diplomacy that will last very long and will allow them to rise to the highest levels in their countries or in the, in the global governance system. Still not enough work has been done. We have a resolution 1325, which highlights the importance of women in peace and security. If you look at the results produced, the results are very, very thin. There is not enough evidence of how much investment has been done to really make a difference. And we know how important it is to have women in mediation. Women are critical because they are the, the network that builds resilient societies. And still, numbers are very, very small. So we need a dedicated effort. We need focus. And that is, again, why from, from my uh, job as president of GW Voices, I push for this. And this is, for me, a central piece of what International Crisis Group can do, showcasing the differences and the impact that women can make and showing how much women at the grassroots level make a difference in coming out of, of crisis. So, a problem and an opportunity, an area of focus, an area of attention, an area to be highlighted beyond just putting things on paper like Resolution 1325. We need to make it happen. As we like to say, deeds, not words.